Bird flu? Pig flu? Human flu? What's the difference? And why should we care? Influenza, commonly known as the flu, is an illness that causes coughing, fever, runny nose, muscle aches, fatigue, and a bunch of other symptoms. Influenza is a respiratory disease that pretty much only affects the respiratory area. Therefore, if you start throwing up or having some unpleasant poops, you'll likely have something other than the flu. Influenza viruses all have negative sense RNA that comes in eight different pieces. Two of those strands code for two separate proteins, which are very important for understanding how virulent they are. Virulence is basically how easy the virus spreads and how much damage it causes. There are three types of influenza viruses, type A, B, and C, which type A is by far the most deadly of them all. The reason why type A is usually the most problematic is because of genetic shift and genetic drift, which we'll talk about in a future video. Type B is kind of the loser of the influenza viruses. It mutates slow and has very little genetic diversity, which allows humans to do fairly well against it. Type C can be kind of deadly, but usually doesn't cause that many problems and causes no worldwide pandemics. All of these viruses have proteins called hemagglutinin and neuraminidase on their surface. Because they have a complicated names, let's just call them H and N. Yay! There are 16 types of H and 9 types of N, though usually just H1, 2, and 3, and N1 and 2 usually infect humans. The H's and the N's are mostly responsible for telling how virulent a virus will be. Certain types of these proteins bond better to humans, others to mammals or birds, and some can bond to many different animals. So, how do these viruses actually hurt us? The virus gets into your respiratory system, bonds to an epithelial cell, which is basically just an average cell in your body, using its H. Your cells get tricked into letting the virus in and welcoming it all the way to the nucleus. The virus then takes over the entire cell and starts spewing out tons of viral proteins all over the place. The virus sort of randomly packages up the virus and gets ready to be exocytosed or bud off of the cell. One cell can make millions of viruses before dying. Those millions can then go on infecting more cells to make millions upon millions of flu viruses. You see how this can get a little bit ridiculous pretty darn fast. The infected cells make cytokines and chemokines to warn your body that it's infected, which causes most of the immune response that you feel. Rhinoviruses, which cause colds, don't do much damage to your body, but flu viruses, on the other hand, can attack so many cells so fast that it does cause a lot of damage to your body. The best ways to mitigate the damage caused by the influenza virus is to drink plenty of fluids, sleep, and possibly take some antiviral medications. Of course, preventative measures are the best way to not get the flu and keep yourself healthy. Things like washing your hands, getting the flu vaccine, or just kind of staying away from sick people. If you would like to hear how flu vaccines work or when they, sadly enough, don't work, let us know in the comments and we'll try and make that happen for you. I hope you're starting to appreciate how amazing your immune system is and how amazing it is to fight off all of these evil invading viruses. Hey there guys, how you doing? Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press that like button. We appreciate it a bunch. If you want to subscribe to catch all of our new videos, go ahead and do that right now. It's just a click away. Also, if you want to watch some of our old videos, feel free to click the annotation above over there. Or if you want to watch the animators channel, click on the link below. As always, thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.